15. Uh, an eventful game, to say the least. Uh, what were your thoughts? Yeah, obviously, when you get training up, hopefully you can see the game out better than what we did. Um, lack of discipline. Uh, some of our subs didn't uh, come on and make the impact they needed to make. Didn't get up to speed with the game. And uh, obviously, the couple of lads that come off, Akimo and uh, Gorman, we missed. So, a little bit frustrated, but delighted we won the game. Delighted we scored three goals, which is a good sign again. We've scored goals again, but we've got to do better defensively. Um, and the goals we gave away were kamikaze, really, in the end, because we defended so well for long periods. Um, so, but I'm, I'm frustrated. So, on the whole, do you see the game as a positive or a negative? Positive, we won. Yeah. Yeah, look, listen, there's loads of ways to win football matches. Ideally, when you're training it up, you should be seeing the game out, you know, especially with the bench we have today. Um, but look, you know, we had to take Gorman off. We didn't want to take him off. He was influencing the game at that time, but he made two fouls, and we're thinking he's on a book, and so maybe just get him out, because um, the way the game's gone now, you know, you can get a booking for anything these days. Um, if the wind blows you over, you probably get booked. Um, and we felt, to be fair, that there was a big issue. I spoke to the, uh, the linesman about it, or the assistant referee. There was a ball that went down the channel. It was for their force goal, and it's clearly out of play, two yards. But he said he was watching the line for offside, so he's missed that one. It was clearly, clearly, look, I could see it, I was there, it was right in front of me. It was a good two yards off, over the line. So, a little bit of bad luck there, but then we didn't defend that well enough. The lads got on the channel. Um, potsy has got ragdolled, he's got to do better. Um, so, all in all, I've got to be honest with you, um, I'm delighted with the victory. That's important, I'll say that. It was an exciting game. Um, would have took me for the game all day long, but we've got to do much, much better because the expectation around their football clubs is, is rose. And that's because of what the lads did last season, and we put last season's gone. So, these lads, some of them were with us last season. If they can step up to the plate, like, you know, we'll have to move on. That's how football works. And uh, that's unacceptable today, certain aspects of it. Let's say 25%, 75% was excellent. You said on a recent podcast, the Bees podcast, that when you first started at the club, there was a lot of players who'd moan, who'd make uh, excuses for a lot of things. How far has the mentality come? <laughs> yeah, look, listen, footballers are making excuses for anything. That's how they are. I was a footballer, I was like that as well. So we try not to give them any excuses. We want people to show up their personalities and represent their family now and their heritage well. That's what we want them to do. They've got to give, us, give their all for their family and themselves. My job is to bring everybody together um, and make sure we're all you know, going in the same direction. I think we've done that so far since we've been here. Uh, I think we're here now sort of like 26, 27 months. So it's took a little bit of time, but... All in all, like I say, when the, when the bar's got raised and the expectation's higher now, we can't, that cannot happen to us, what's just happened to us today. Um, so, look, from our point of view, three points and move on to the next game. Good start to the season. Now that there's so many games in such a short period of time, how hard is it to improve on any weaknesses, especially tactical ones? Because there's not much time on the training ground. Yeah, there will be this week. Obviously, we get a full week. Yeah. We'll be in uh, Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, and Tuesday, Friday, preparing for the game. I've just spoke to the lads inside. Uh, I very rarely speak to the lads after games. We just watch the, the goals we can see them and just gone through that. And they got to understand that, the bar, like I say, the bar's raised. They've got to come with us. If they don't come with us, they'll fall off. It's as simple as that. So we're going in a certain direction. We've got to make sure that everyone adheres to them standards. So, um, look, the biggest thing for us is, you know, we've got a good bunch of lads that are prepared to walk hard. So that gives you a good opportunity. That stands us in good stead. So, and we've got to learn from today. You know, that none of us are perfect. You know, we'll probably make the wrong subs or something like that or whatever. You know what I mean? People are. Everyone has an opinion in, in this day and age with social media, but. The main thing is if we win together, we win together, we lose together, we lose together, and that's important. And I thought what was brilliant today, at one point, when I got back to 3 2, our supporters in the stand over there drove us forward. And I said that to them when I did the podcast the other day, the Bees podcast, that we're going to need them. And I didn't think we'd need them you know, this early when we were training up, but we did in the end, and, and we all did it together, and they were our 12th man today. Adi Okuo made his debut today. What do you make of his performance? Yeah, he's a machine, the wall. He's a fine, this kid. Uh, we've been tracking him for a long time. Made some brilliant blocks, great defensive positions. He's a throwback. Not many, not many defenders want to block and, you know, do, do the ugly stuff. What he does really well. He senses danger. I thought he was outstanding. It's a great debut for him. And then Jerome Akimo came off. How bad his injury is? About? It looks like he's got a broken nose. Um, his nose is all over his face. So, you know, things like that. You know, you see some of the bookings that are going on these days. Flailing arms in the box and. Ideally, I'd like the officials to see stuff like that. But he's got. And I, I said on the side, he never goes down injured ever. And all the time I've managed him, I've never seen him down. And I knew there was something wrong. So, but his nose is all over his face. So, he'll have, he'll have a couple of uh, black eyes now over the next few days. So, 
And then finally, what do you make of the rest of the performances from the de uh, debutants? I thought Brunt was outstanding. Um, you know, he's so comfortable on the ball, he's got so much vision. If we can make better runs in our front line when he picks the ball up, I think he can slide some people in on one on ones. Um, I think it was a good one on one for Nicky. The goal, their goalie made a great save just on half time as well. So I thought Nicky did well in spells, um, like he does. Great goal, great centre forwards goal. Um, who else made a debut today? Uh, Reese Hall Johnson just ran out of steam a little bit at the end. I thought he did really well, and Ben Coker did really well. Reliable seasoned player. So, all in all, for the debutants, I think that they did particularly well. Perfect, Dean. Thank you very much. Cheers.